Hey guys, it's me, Holly Madison. I am back and I'm so excited because I found my purses from the 2000s that you guys have been asking to see. Um, they were just deep in my garage, not where they were supposed to be. But anyway, if you could hit the like and subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. And let me show you these bags. First, I have to warn you, I've been told I say the word bag really weird. I don't know, it sounds normal to me, but I guess you're just gonna hear a lot of it. You're gonna see my bags. That's how I say it. <laughs> so these bags are all from the early 2000s, and I guess I'll go in kind of chronological order as well as I can remember. Um, the first one I bought is this bucket bag, which is kind of this awkward shaped bag. Um, has a couple pockets inside, and it's kind of like a little bit awkward. You know, you can stick a lot of things in it, but you know, there's nothing that zips it together, so it's prone to spilling. And I got this because it was what a lot of the other women who lived at the mansion, I always pause before I say, when I refer to the other people that live there, I always wanna say girls. And I remember somebody like ripped me a new one in their little op-ed after my book came out for saying girls instead of women. But we were so infantilized there and I just feel like there was so much cattiness and backstabbing, which I don't think of as like mature and womanly behavior. And we were referred to as girlfriends and our show was called Girls Next Door. I don't know, anyway. I'm just gonna say girls, so. So a lot of other people had this bag, and when I'm thinking about, like, why did I buy the purse that everybody else had? Because that's not usually how I am. Usually I want the things that are like different and special, and I don't wanna buy just everything that everybody else has. So I was like, why did I even do that? I was thinking about it, and I think it was just because, you know, I was coming straight from college, had no money, and all these other people that lived there, you know, had had enough to buy certain things for themselves for a while and they all had a ton of clothes and they had nice purses and things like that so i think i just wanted to like fit in and like be seen as acceptable like on this base level so i didn't look like some little like street rat that had just crawled in through the cellar door so i think i thought that if i could have this and you know take it out with me when we went out or you know take it to the store when I was running my errands I would look like I belonged and I would look acceptable and I would be considered okay which is just dumb because you know I could have just been my street rat self and been fine but <laughs> you know at the time I just thought you know I'm kind of jumping this socio-economic level a little bit and I just needed to look acceptable that's what I thought so yeah it's kind of like a awkward little bag but it served its purpose i had this little gucci bag this tiny little gucci bag that i carried around for a while too but i didn't bring that just because i don't think that was ever on the show but before we started filming the show um there was this period of time where hef was trying to get a movie made on his life and for a while like imagine entertainment had optioned the rights to his life and they were supposed to make a biopic and um, the screenwriter Scott Silver and he wanted me to carry around this little camcorder and film Hef doing everything all day. No, not what you're thinking, but like most things, like just dumb stuff, like waking up in the morning, brushing his teeth, like us going out to a nightclub, things like that. And I don't remember how long I did this for, but there were like, I gave back like tons of tapes. It must have been a couple of weeks at least, if not like a whole month. And I had to bring this little camcorder out, you know, when we went out to clubs. So I wanted to get like a nice little purse that would like hold that camcorder. So I got this Papillon because it was like the perfect size for the little camcorder to go in there. It also comes with like a mini version of itself inside. So it's like a pregnant bag. But yeah, and this one, I'm about to get up and I've been sitting down in my jeans. So my stomach is gonna be like a creasy mess. So I'm gonna try not to show it to you. Well, like this is what it looks like on and it's kind of when you put it um up on your shoulder like this it's a little uncomfortable especially if it's full but again it served its purpose and then i have these two sister bags this is um i want to say this is called the deauville i didn't take the time to do my research before doing this video um, but this has, as you can see, a pocket on the outside. And I think I really like this bag because it was small enough that you could take it out to a club. It looks bigger than it is when I'm holding it next to my head, but it's um, small enough that you could take it out to a club, but you could still fit a lot in here. I don't know 
what I think I have to carry with me all the time in my purses, but I still, I'm kind of like that. To this day, like I'm carrying around these Mary Poppins, like Hermione bags that are just bottomless. I must have used this more recently than I thought because there's a contact lens in here. Um, and I have, it has four little pockets. Kind of perfect size for like a cell phone or something. Especially the cell phones back in the day because they were a little boxier. And you can see over the years, sometimes the leather, you can see there's like little water stains or whatever. It's just the more water or more like if you have lotion on your hands or any kind of oil that touches it, I feel like that's what kind of causes it to age a little bit. And then others that you don't use as much or don't touch as much with your grimy little hands, they don't age as much and they tend to stay nice. But you can always take it back to the shop at Louis Vuitton and they will refurbish for you if you want. This video isn't sponsored. And then this is um, the sister bag to that. This is the bag that everybody always asks me about. Um, it's very early 2000s. This is when they started doing the bags with Takashi Murakami and he would do the different colored logo and do like the little cherry blossom characters on there. This one doesn't have cherry blossoms. It's just the different colors. You can see it has like the cute little studs. And like I said, it's a sister bag with that. Oh, it is different on the inside. Um, I'm not going to show you the inside of the bag because there is like a white powder in here and it's, I swear, it's not what you would think it is. I don't do that. I've never done that. Um, no judgment if you have, I'm just saying like, I haven't, I'm scared. I would like have a heart attack and die or something. I think I was an addict in a past life because I've always been so, um, like if somebody else wants to do it, I don't care. I'm not like prudy judgy like that, but I just have been offered that so many times and just have had an aversion to it. Like I just know if I even tried it, it would go very poorly. So my um, suspicion is that I was like an addict in a past life and I'm like, no, nah, no. Yeah, so I'm not gonna show you the inside, but I, I think it's like this. I think that this is what it is. I've had that happen to me so many times where somebody will like take a screenshot from like a TV show where I'm like doing my makeup at a makeup counter or even, you know, I don't think one of my YouTube videos has it, but sometimes I'll make a video and I'll have like powder everywhere, makeup powder, and people always think it's something else, but have I ever had enough personality to be that kind of, no, no. Maybe if I did some, I'd have more personality, but I don't, so. Hmm. This is a more affordable bag. This is a Kate Spade bag. I got it at a department store and I brought this um, to Las Vegas the first time we went on a Girls Next Door episode because I just thought it looked very, you know, I knew we would be out by the pool and I just thought it looked very like casual south of France or something. I don't know why. It looks, it doesn't look as cute when I'm holding it up. I swear, like if I was just, first of all, I didn't store this very well. It's like all wrinkly, but you know, it looks more chic when it's in action. This is the inside. Anyway, I thought it looked cute with what I wore that day. I'm gonna hang it up so the wrinkles fall out. This was another favorite in the early 2000s. Okay, tell me, tell me what brand is the most early 2000s brand ever? Yes, you said it, Juicy Couture. This is a Juicy Couture purse. And I love this because you know what it reminds me of? So when I was a kid, I saw this movie that was made in the 60s about Jean Harlow. I think it was just called Harlow. And the actress who was playing her like rolls up to the train station and she has like, she's sitting on a pile of luggage that has her name on it. And it's like these white, that's another word I say weird. I've been told people say, don't say white, right? So pardon me, this is just gonna be a mess of a video with all the words I don't say right. So um, she's sitting on this pile of like white luggage, like steamer trunks has her name on it. And I thought it was the most glamorous thing I'd ever seen. And I always kind of wished I could have this super glamorous white luggage, which is stupid because white luggage would look horrible after one use. It would be like nasty and scuffed up and gross. But this is kind of like my mini version of it. I kind of felt like this was my little glamorous white luggage that I, you know, carried around. And I like it because it's like a structured box. So you could fit a lot of things into it. This is um, what I bet on the Kentucky Derby. I don't remember winning. I'm sure I didn't win. Um, but yeah, I guess this must have been the last time I used this was the Kentucky Derby because that's still in there. Um, when was that? 3rd of May, 2008. Long time ago. This was also in our first pictorial because they put this picture on the 
first page or the second page or whatever. And it's like the three of us and half standing outside a limo. And it's just weird that there's a picture of him in like the Victoria. It's supposed to be about naked people right now. If you're not going to get naked, get out. Just kidding. I'm just, I'm just in a silly, goofy mood. So these are just some of my favorite little casual evening bags. Not super fancy, just if you're going out to a nightclub and you want a little baggity bag and you want to just like hide it under your shoulder, no one will ever see. And when they do see, it's just like classic and sleek and basic and no one can really argue with it. Um, so I knew when I bought this that this... Um, was something I would still use years later. Like here we are like 15 years. It might be closer to 20 years later because I actually bought this like even before the show. It was like my first Christmas. Yeah, it was 20 years almost. Because my first Christmas at the mansion in 2001, all the girls had kind of, you know, we had like a set amount we could spend on each other. And I bought two of these for everybody. I would get, you know, two different colors. And that was like within the allotment. And this was like a really, really inexpensive bag from Louis Vuitton, but I thought they were just very classic. And this is something that you would use for like years just because it's so, like it's a nice quality thing, but it's so like inconspicuous. And it's just like for like a casual day out or casual night out when you just don't really wanna have a purse, but you kind of need one. There's no pockets inside or anything. It's just like a very soft lining. Oh, two Tylenol and <laughs> no white powdery substance. This lavender one has like a really pretty lavender. I don't know what it is, if this is a suede or what, but it's very nice. There's a powdery substance in here too, but I'll show it to you because it's clearly not that. Like this is more of a, this is, you can see this is makeup. I think I probably had a makeup brush in here because that is a mess and I should clean it up. And then there's this red one. I feel very Anna Nicole Smith with the red. I don't know why. But anyhow, nobody really liked these except me. So when I got these for everybody, everybody just like returned them, which is fine. Like everybody has different tastes, but everybody else only wanted stuff like with the logo was huge, which totally that's fine. Like if you don't want to spend money on something unless the logo was like in your face, that is totally fine. But I don't feel like I need that all the time. This is a very tiny LV logo. You can see it like that. But I just love these. I think they're so like sleek and classic and casual or cocktail party. And they're just like, and they look like cute lined up next to each other. So those are not all my bags, but those are all the ones from the 2000s that I thought you know, like maybe made an appearance in the show or you might remember because people were asking me to show off my bags from that era. So let me know in the comment section if I missed any, like are there any purses from the show or something that you thought I would pop up in this video and I missed them because I'm curious, I am I wanna know. My goal I think is to remodel a closet space so I can just put everything that's boxed up and stored away and just like, did you see that episode of, um, what is that organizing show? The Home Edit, where they did Reese Witherspoon's closet in Nashville and she has all her clothes from Legally Blonde just out. I think I would like to do that. One day, I'll have a video about that up here when I get around to it. So anyway, let me know what kind of video you would like to see next. Oh, I'm trying to think if there was a bag from that era I really wanted and didn't get. You know what I kind of liked, but it was in right before I had the money to buy it. It was like, and they recently Dior came out with this again. So I should have bought it for old time's sake. But you know how Dior had those cloth bags that had the pink design on it and they had the little white flowers. And then they came out with those again recently, maybe like two years ago. I think I wanted that, but then those were gone by the time I could afford it. So I never got those. Oh, I have way more that I wanted to show you guys. Okay. This little guy I got at Neiman Marcus and I would use this for everything. Like if we went to something that was formal, I would just use this because, and it looks a lot, I'm looking at the monitor, it looks a lot more cheap than it does in real life. In real life, it's prettier. Oh no, this was just from Bloomingdale's. It's not even <laughs> nice, but it worked. It kind of like went with everything. And back then, you know, in the 2000s, like 
Swarovski crystals were everything. So I was just living with this little clutch. Speaking of Swarovski crystals, I used to go to this dress place called Barachi. They're still in Beverly Hills to get really sparkly outfits for the parties. And then they would make like a purse that went along with it. And the purse alone would be like $2,000 or something. And it's just like a really, first of all, it doesn't even open all the way. Um, so it's very hard to fit anything in. But um, so I decided I was going to make my own one year. So I ordered the outfit from Barachi, but I was like, I'm just going to like make my own purse. And I think it turned out pretty good. I just went downtown and got like this super cheap like case and then just put Swarovski crystals on it myself and it was fine it did the job it probably only cost a couple hundred bucks rhinestones can get expensive sometimes but I say I saved a lot of money and I was very proud of myself because I'm so frugal I don't think this is from the era I think I bought this like right when I moved out and I was doing a lot of club appearances and I felt like for some reason this was the one I needed to you know throw over my shoulder when i was going out to a club like didn't want to use my other ones this one has like and anyway, i'm off topic this isn't from the era let's see what else do i have here okay this is an interesting one so this is from louis vuitton and i believe this came out like before this is like the dior thing i was talking about where it came out before i could actually afford it so then once i could afford it i went to ebay and bought one and it's very small inside but see these, the ones that are kind of patent leather, they don't always hold up as well. Like this, I mean, you can kind of tell if you can see the difference between um, the fabric on the zipper and the leather. It's changed colors a little bit over the years, but I still like it. I think it's cute. It's very like kind of 60s retro, early 2000s, cute, cute. And then this guy, this, this reminds me of like 1920s style. It kind of reminds me of like, the dress from the great Gatsby that has like the rhinestones over it. Um, this I bought because it very specifically matched a certain dress of mine. And I think this was also from the Kentucky Derby episode, um, when we went to a party, but yeah, those are all the bags I found that were packed up that I think are from that era. And um, yeah, let me know if I forgot one. And also let me know what kind of video you'd like to see next. Cause I'm always, you know, looking for new videos to make. And just, I wanna thank you guys for watching because there's a very specific reason other than just liking doing them that I do these YouTube videos. And when the time is right, I will let you know why. But I appreciate you guys watching cause it helps me a lot. So, um, yeah, let me know what kind of video you like to see next and I'll see you next time. Bye.